Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Future Blitz. And, well, it's the 4th of July, so there's a shedload of American tanks everywhere, including Washington, D.C., where Trump is having his little military display. And this is the M6A2E1 Experimental. It's an American Tier 8 heavy tank. It's a premium tank. And guess what? It's a freebie. All you've got to do is play your game in the current event for the next five days, earn XP, and you will get this beastie into your garage. What could be easier? Well, let's have a look at the tank. Uh, I'll say from the off, I'm not a big fan of this tank. Uh, me and this tank just don't get on. However, damage, not too bad. Rate of fire, really slow. Penetration, not too bad. Armor, not too bad. Speed, not too bad. And the rotation, that's how quickly it turns, is not too bad. So, uh, on paper, it's a nice tank. As you can see here, it's got 1,500 hit points. The front armor is pretty trolly. Sides and rear are non-existent. Uh, it's got... Awful camo profile. It's got 1,744 DPM. It will knock out 260 on its AP, uh, sorry, pen 260 on its HE and knock out 400 on its AP. And damage wise, maneuverability is quite nice. And that's what the beastie looks like. Um, that's it. It's a big, tall turret. And I mean, it looks solid, but it's deceptive. As you can see, the lower glacier plate is pretty rock solid, according to the armor room inspector, and so is the front mantle. But look at the sides! The sides are not so rock solid, and this is it in penetration mode, and it's going up against a, uh, a louver. And you know, the side cheeks are really easy to pen, and it's not a great side scraper. So a lot of people think this tank is basically a bit of a beastie when it comes to the armor. Actually, it's not. Gun depression, well, it's got a whopping 10 degrees, but it's got a massive turret, so with those side cheeks, totally irrelevant. As I said, I, I'm not a big fan of this tank. Me and this tank do not get on. Never have, never will. I, uh, I much prefer its uh, poorer cousin sitting in tier 7. That's not to say the tank isn't nice. Um, a lot of people love this tank. I'm not one of them. It's as simple as that. But this is the thing you gotta remember, guys. Wargaming are basically giving you this tank for free. All you've got to do for the next, what, seven days is play the game. That's it. You haven't got to do anything else. You'll play the game, you'll earn XP, and you'll win a tank. What could be simpler? Well, not much, really. And, you know, for a free tank, never knock a freebie, fellas. At the end of the day, I mean, if it's free, who am I to complain? If you were to buy this, I would say, okay, well, it's, you know, whilst I don't like it, it's a nice tank. It is. Now, these replays are from quite a while ago, because, as I said, I, ve I very rarely play this tank. Um, me and the tank do not get on. It's me, by the way, not the tank. Um, I just don't get on with it. <laughs> I don't understand why I don't get on with it. I just don't. Um, I, I just find the armour... Meh. You know, and I, I, I just don't play this tank well. But that's not to say the tank is crap. It's not. It, it, it's a nice tank. And players with better um, understanding of the game than me will play this tank beautifully. And they will get the most out of this tank. I'm just not one of those guys, I'm afraid. Uh, and every time I, I, I press in the garage to roll this thing out, I'm underwhelmed. Let's be honest with you. It's not a tank I enjoy taking out, but that's just me, and this is the thing. So I can't slate the tank, guys. I have to really, really emphasize this. It's not the tank's fault that I don't get on with it. It's my fault. I just play it like a complete noob. Um, and, you know, there are times in the game where you get that. You get tanks that you are shit at. You get tanks that you just don't get on with, and this is one of those tanks. In fact, uh, there's quite a few American heavies I don't get on with. This is one of them. And the E5 is the other one. For some reason, these are two tanks I just don't have fun in. But, you know, you stick this in the right position, then yes, the armor is pretty rock solid. You 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 can use the gun depression, as you can see there, you, you get some bounces. It will dish out reasonable alpha damage. I mean, 400 is nice. That's a high roll. Um, it's normally chucking out about 360, which is nice for this tier. 
Okay, it's got a long reload, and it does have a long reload. Sometimes it does appear to struggle to pen, but load calibrated shells, you're not going to have a problem. Okay, it increases your aim time. The gun, well, it's not as accurate as you'd like it to be, but it's pretty accurate. I mean, this is a heavy. Mobility-wise, it's not too bad, as you can see there. You know, we're bouncing away. We've almost bounced a 1,000. We've dished out 1,175. Like I said, these are old games, guys. I mean, I have taken out recently, and, you know, you should be getting a, a, a good average roll of about 2,100 in this thing. And there you see there, you get a high roll of 500 on the T-54. So, getting over 2,000 damage in this thing is not difficult, if you know how to play it, and if you enjoy playing it. And Wargaming giving you this for nothing, really. I mean, that's, that's nice of them, to be fair, because... This is not a sloppy tank. It's like um, it's like when they gave you the Star Chaser, another beautiful tank. The Panzer IV S is a beautiful tank. This is the same. And all you've got to do, as I say, is play your game, earn that XP, and you win a tank. So there you see there, we did over 2,000, didn't take any damage, didn't get any medals because we didn't do anything really. And it's a good credit earner. And this is the thing about this tank. It is a premium. It will earn you some decent credits. And, you know, you can have some nice games in it, but I wouldn't say it's the easiest tank to drive. But then again, like I said, I'm biased because I don't get on with it. So, whilst I'm saying it's not the easiest tank to drive, that just might be me and my prejudice against the tank. Because, as I say, I mean, stat-wise, it's a nice tank. It dishes out nice damage, it's got a nice gun. Okay, it's got a long reload. It's got reasonable armour. I mean, as you've seen in the armour inspector, the cheeks of that turret do stick out, and they are easy to pen. If anything gets to the side or the back of you, then it's good night Vienna. Um, basically, because you're paper thin on the back and on the sides. Um, I went in on a game early, and a T49 wrecked me by, sh by sticking an HE right up the engine deck of this thing. But it's an American Heavy. Most American Heavies at the engine deck are incredibly vulnerable. And that's the thing you got to remember. But I really have to emphasize this. It's free! You don't have to do bugger all other than play your game. And if you play your game, and if you get that, um, that XP, you get a tank. And you get a decent tank at that. And you get a tier 8 tank at that. And you get a good credit earner at that. You shouldn't knock this, guys. You shouldn't turn your nose up. I mean, compared to some of the stuff that's in the stores, I mean, okay, there's a good deal on it at the moment. 10,000 gold for the T28 concept and the T34 independence. That's, that's nice. You know, 5,000 gold for two tanks. Per tank, sorry. Uh, it saves you about 3,600 gold if you buy, unless you buy them individually. Then you've got the T6E1, which I would strongly advise you do not buy. And then you've got this, which is free. Um, I mean, I'm surprised. I, I would have charged, I would have happily charged you 4,000, 6,000 gold for this and given you the T6E1 for free. But I'm not wargaming, and it's very strange that they did it that way. And again, there, look, 2,359 damage, about 660. Take a couple of take take a kill, get a third class for your troubles, and this is what I'm saying, guys. You will not struggle to get over 2,000 damage in this thing. Um, realistically, the gun is nice in that respect. Um, what I was going to say about it? Well, like I said, it is a nice tank. Don't don't listen to me because I just don't like it, and I just don't get on with it, and I never have, and I never will. And it's just one of those things. It, it just happens. But that's my prejudice and i don't want my prejudice to get in the way of my review and like i said firstly it's a free tank that's always nice and secondly it is actually a really nice tank if i if i look at all the tanks openly and objectively what you're getting here is a good all-rounder you're not going to be setting the world on fire in this thing but you can it's tricky to combat because of its armor. Okay, like I keep saying, you know, sides of that turret is just stupidly open. But it's, you know, it's not the easiest thing to aim at, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, there's, there's the side cheeks are not that simple from distance. Up close and personal, they're much easier, of course. It's not a bad brawler, 
uh, in the right position, it's okay. And, you know, the thing you've got to remember about this thing is it's got good gun depression. You have to use all the tanks to their strengths. And, and the thing is, I just never use the tank to its strengths. Not this one anyway. It's, it's just one of those things. But you're getting a really decent tank for sweet F.A. And that is what you've got to remember. And, you know, if you're in two minds about this event, should I grind it, shouldn't I grind it? You'd be stupid not to grind it. Because if you can get this in your garage for gratis, then do it. Seriously, it's a it's a must-have because it's free. And I can't say anything more than that. Like I said, you'll easily dish out 2,000 damage in this thing per battle. Easily. You know, if, if you don't, you're doing something wrong. I mean, I don't like the tank. And even I can get 2,000 damage in it. And it's gratis. It comes with no strings attached other than play your normal game, get the XP, win the tank. And you get a load of other stuff on the way there, like Avatar and uh, stuff like that. So, effectively, you need your head red if you're not trying to grind this tank and you haven't got this tank. Because, well, you just need your head red. If you've already got this tank, obviously, you know, you're going to get some things back. I think it's going for just over, what, a couple of million gold? Uh, sorry, a couple of million uh, credits. I think it's three million credits, actually, it's going for. Which is not a shady amount. It, it's it's not bad. Um, so if you've already got the tank, the war game will give you some credits back. Which is nice of them as well. I mean, the, the, uh, as events go, you know, we've just had one event where you could get uh, three tanks. Now you've got another event where you can get another tank for free, effectively. So they're being pretty generous for the summer. And obviously it's the 4th of July, so they've got to stick all these American tanks out there to, to celebrate that uh, American's Independence Day. And this is one of them. Simple fact of life. So now we've got four American tanks up for grabs, although the T6E1 was only a special one-off for 24 hours, I believe. And um, I don't think it's in the garage anymore. And even if it was, don't care, don't waste your money. This is, however, a grind tank. It's an event tank. And you won't be disappointed in it, unlike me. Um, but that's me. That's not the tech. It's just me. As you see, there, yeah, 2,572 churned out, knocked out 1,200 bounces. Okay, those games were like a year ago, but that's not the point. I mean, the tank hasn't been buffed or nerfed since then. It's the same tank, and it's okay. So, that's been the M6A2E1 Experimental, the current freebie event tank. Grind your way there, guys. Get it in your garage. I've been Fujit555. By all means, comment and all the other stuff below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, because one, it's nice, and two, you can get a chance to win some gold. Um, there's a link at the end of this video. Just click on it, and it tells you all about that. Until then, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or come and join my Discord server, and you can upload them there to my replays channel. Until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about, having fun, being happy, and getting a free tank.